Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and it is finally out. There is a new patch out for No Man's Sky, and it fixes a ton of stuff. So, guys, if you are on any platform, I'm talking PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, you know, Nintendo Switch, make sure to verify for any updates to No Man's Sky. Sometimes you have to turn off your console completely, not just power it off. You have to totally reset it. That way it updates and it checks for updates so make sure you do that it is out right now so let's get over here to sean murray's tweet hotfix version 4.12 is now releasing on all platforms with lots of early fixes and improvements so then we jump over to the patch notes and again i'm only going to go through some of the highlights you guys so if you want all the really deep down details there's a link down below in the description to the update page but I'm going to show you the big ones that I've seen a lot and I've seen a lot of people asking for. So number one is fix an issue that could prevent expedition data from being successfully downloaded. I know there's a lot of people, especially over on Nintendo Switch. They were saying, look, I try to start the expedition and it keeps saying download downloading. I can't actually start it. Well, now they're fixing it to where now it won't tell you that hopefully in the new patch. You have to make sure to get this patch though. Then the next one is Fixed a number of rendering related crashes, multiplayer crashes, and planet rendering clash crashes. There was a ton of crashes. I run into them. I don't know if you guys were watching my speed runs on stream. I kept running into them at least once per hour, once every couple of hours. Didn't know what the heck was going on. Hopefully this patch is going to fix those crashes. A ton of crashes got fixed with this patch. Hopefully that's most of them. And then we have the fixed an issue that caused the galactic trade room on freighters to be non-interactable. So a lot of people were saying, I can't do anything on my uh, my trade room. Either, you know, there's pieces missing, like the orb in the middle is just gone, or now I can't click on it. So now, hopefully, that was fixed as well. So guys, the patch is out right now. Make sure to, to restart your console, check for, you know, verify for patches. That way, it'll download it for you guys. And ultimately, sometimes... Even if you uh, download a patch, it might not work. What I would suggest in that scenario is completely deleting the game. Make sure you back up your saves, however you do it. Back it up to the cloud, whatever. Make sure to back up your saves, but delete the game, all the game files, and re-download them. Because sometimes when it downloads the patch, basically what it's doing is it's only fixing certain files. And if you download the patch, it might freak out and it might actually either give you a corrupted file or something like that. You may need to just delete the game, do a fresh install, but back up your saves. As you know, I've deleted my main save, and I did mine all by myself. So <laughs> back up those saves, you guys. And let me know, have you downloaded the uh, update or the patch? Let me know if you have not and which platform you're on. We need to know. I mean, I, I generally think that uh, the Nintendo Switch version is probably going to be a little bit slower but let me know if you've gotten the patch and which platform you're on, you're on down below in the description. And I will see you guys next time.